Offense ready to go for their next drive. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things work well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shot Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. 70, Indy. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to let this go deep. Back over the middle. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Check nickel, nickel, nickel. Six, six, pull it high. Mike's 54. Mike, look at me. Go on, go on. They'll try and throw for it here. The right's got it. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points. So they want the flag and the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over what the penalty is? the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Extra point up and through by Myers. So they do get one score back, but still a long way to go here in the third quarter. This will be fielded at the six. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. Second and six, just inside the 30. Second and six. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bound down on there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time. He was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. It's going to be a long day, offense. It's going to be a long day. Watch Twiz. Watch Twiz. Hey, Orbit. He's checking, he's checking. Crash, crash. 56. Mike, 56. Right there, right there. Be careful. Be careful. On third down, he'll drop the throw. Gets this one left side to Pettis. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. Touchdown, 49ers. Dante Pettis, his second touchdown of the night, as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. That's it, baby. We don't work. At their own 25-yard line. Ready up. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes where those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. On 
first down, he'll drop to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now back to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player? Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Watch 54. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> And look to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20 yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. But a running game can really benefit your team right now. trying to collect. You go tight. You got tight. You got tight right there. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Hubbard, and he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. And that's one of those you like to blitz even on run downs that confuses the blocking assignments and doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Why, why, why that? On third down, Hubbard. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. And we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. The kick by Joseph is good. And that would just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? This is taken at his four, and he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. To finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. He's going to look deep down the field. on the PAT as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself. You still have your starting quarterback out there. Which one do you go to the backup? Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them, did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead? And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. General West. Here we go. Six guys. 
They'll run six, on first six. down. It's Hubbard. And he's got this down to the 35. First down, San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest. And they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Run blitz there defensively is something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Jim, 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 Jim. Leo, Leo. Watch the ship, watch the ship. They stay on the ground again. It's Breida, and this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. And did he have enough? He did. He kept it online and managed to tuck it into the bottom right corner. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Slam, slam. X3, 218, jump. Ready, ready? They'll try and start this drive in the air. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Well, you won't hear any boos from this home crowd on that call. No, not at all. And it's been a long day for this crowd waiting for this game. It's been a long evening as well. Finally, they feel they got a call. Back to throw here. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Nick Bosa, his second sack of the night. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. On the, the Rams on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and 19. They'll set up a play. And that will be incomplete. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Looking deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Check. Check. Yep. Hot, hot. Watch safety creep. Watch safety creep. They'll try the left side. Hubbard. They'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And down to the seven-yard line. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. 
Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Out, 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 out. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play that time, but it sets up second and goal. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Set the tone, defense. Freedom. They're trying to get inside. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll make it third and goal. Set. Pretty base. Six man. Check curls, check curls. Check. Man, man. Two. Check, check. Now it's Breeda. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Give him four yards there, but they're still well short of the goal line with fourth down now looming. Oh, if this defense can hold him to a field goal here, what a win that would be. Not just a win on the possession, but psychologically take over the ball game. But this started with first and goal, so they were in four down territory right from the beginning. I say you finish it off and go for the touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest, don't forget to that. Don't forget what has happened out here. Use that as ammo. They took a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching plan, the whole deal. And never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll go back to Henderson on first down. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Ready, ready. Now a run with Henderson. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive, not much sense. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check, let's go. He'll drop to throw.